Hi, everybody. Welcome to day four of week three of our very first unit building community. Before we begin today's session, we're going to go through the different parts of the lesson so we get a good sense of what exactly we are going to be doing today. So students and teachers, first, you're going to have this introduction slide. Then you'll do an opening and do now activity with a set of see, think and wonder prompts. Then you'll do a before reading exercise where you'll go back to a part of Brandon's story from day three. Then you'll have your into the text moment, which is going to include generating some questions. After that, you'll do the after the reading activity, which is going to be more work with questions about Brandon and his story. Then finally, you'll have a closing and connecting activity to wrap up the learning. So teachers, let's give some more detailed instructions for you on how to facilitate today's lesson. So please remember below, you're going to always have teachers, your note for teachers, with additional tips and suggestions of how to implement each lesson. And please note that on slide one, you're going to have a link to your teacher's guide, that separate document with very specific instructions for each part of the lesson um, and guidelines for implementation. We also have that document open here. So just to look again of what that um, document looks like. Um, teachers, note that for this video, um, the opening do now will not be facilitated. It will be facilitated very briefly. Um, the before reading will be facilitated and as will the into the text, which is different from previous sessions where the into the text was facilitated solely by you. So this video will facilitate part of the into the text moment. What we'll be doing is um, watching the video here with a link to YouTube. So you can click that and that will open up the video. And don't forget you have at this link straight to the PDF of Brandon's story of the text that we're working with today, the Christmas I will never forget. So those are the two sources the students will use for the into the text moment. And again, we will facilitate the second part of that in this video. Um, also note teachers for the closing and connecting activity here, you can choose whichever option is going to work best for you and your students, but please also do the extend the learning activity if that's not the one you had already chosen. Because the extend the learning activity in green is going to set students up well for day five. So please make sure to do the extend the learning activity and if you'd like to do one of the other ones in addition, of course you may. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, we are on day four and it is week three titled Our Community of our very first unit building community. Our essential question is the same that it's been all week, which is how can raising a voice strengthen our community? We're going to work again with the text, The Christmas I Will Never Forget, which is the story of Brandon and his immigration journey from Guatemala to the United States. At this point, we can go over our lesson objectives here in the pink box. So teachers, pause this video and please have students read the lesson objectives out loud. Okay, thank you for reading out loud our lesson objectives. We have two for today. The first is to prepare for and participate in a range of collaborations with diverse partners. So this word collaboration has come up before this week. Collaboration is when you're working closely with somebody, you're speaking with them, talking, discussing, and you're sharing ideas. So we're getting ready to talk to others, to share with them, and to work together. The second lesson objective is to develop personal, cultural, and thematic connections to text and big ideas. So we're taking Brandon's story here and we're making some strong connections back to our lives, our identities, our communities, cultures, and families. So again, taking what we know about Brandon and connecting it to ourselves. So let's go ahead and we'll do a quick overview of the opening and do now activity. Teachers, you can pause the video and facilitate this as you'd like, but students, as a reminder, you're going to look at the images here and consider the prompts here. What do you see? What do you think? And what do you wonder? And you have in the green box some sentence starters to help you formulate your thoughts. Um, you could, depending on teachers, how you'd like to do this, write into the chat, unmute and speak, or write out your ideas in a separate document. 
So teachers, go ahead, pause this video and give students some time to do the opening and do now. And when we return, we will begin the before the reading activity. Okay, welcome back. I hope that you enjoyed doing the opening and do now activity. Let's do the before reading, which is going to give us a nice um, reminder of what we learned last time about Brandon and his story and give us a little practice with some of the skills we'll be doing today. So there's a few different steps for the before reading activity. So the first, I'm going to review what we're doing for this exercise. So in the last lesson, we heard and read about Brandon's immigration journey from Guatemala to the United States. And today we are going to look more closely at this selection from his story. So when they talk about the selection, they mean this next box here. So this is our second step. You guys can read to yourselves. I'm going to read it out loud. This again was from the um, text from day three, so it might sound familiar. This is part of Brandon's story. When I came to America, my first goal was to see my mother. From after 10 years, it's totally different. For 10 years, she didn't know me. It was like putting two persons in the room and to meet each other. Teachers, if you'd like, you can rewind and play this again to give students a second exposure to that um, read aloud part if they would benefit from the listening practice or the audio input. Um, students, we just read aloud that part of Brandon's story. So let's go on to the next part of our before reading exercise. So in this part, we are going to be sharing and discussing some questions related to what we just read here. Okay, so our first question, why might this reunion have been challenging for Brandon and his mother? So Jeff, when we say challenging, we mean difficult, we mean hard. Why might this reunion have been challenging, difficult, hard for Brandon and his mother? So you're going to think of your response to that prompt. If you um, would like a little bit of support, you could use this beginning to, um, to respond. It was challenging because. So if you um, continue that thought and then share it with either your partner, small group or whole group, teachers, however you wanna structure this. But let's take a moment, you can pause this video. Students, you can take some time to think about question number one here. Why might this reunion have been challenging for Brennan and his mother? And again, using this below to help you. So we'll pause this video while you discuss that idea. Okay, thank you for sharing your ideas. Let's move on to our second discussion question here. How could they learn more about each other? So some things you could say um, to begin your response, they could learn more by, you could also use the beginning of the sentence, to learn more, they could. So at this moment, students, we will pause and give you some time to think about your ideas and responses to this prompt. How could they, Brandon and his mom, learn more about each other? And again, you can use these two sentence frames to begin your response. So we'll pause the video and give you some time to think about your response and share out with somebody else or a group of people. Okay, thank you for discussing the second question and that's going to actually conclude our before reading activity. We'll set the purpose quickly before we go into the text. Here is the purpose in the orange box below. So today we are going to build on what we read by developing another skill that we have been working on this week, asking questions. But first, let's go back to the text to review what we read. So we're going to move forward to the end of the text moment. Teachers, you can pause the video here. You can click this link to open up the YouTube video and then this link for the text and review both of those sources with students. When you pick the video back up, we will facilitate the second part of the into the text moment here in this gray area. 
Okay, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed revisiting Brandon's story. At this point, we're going to do the second part of our Into the Text activity, which will be coming up with three interview questions that Brandon could ask his mother to learn more about her. I'm going to show you an example of what one of these questions could look like. Before I do that, a quick reminder, when we're asking questions, there's a few starters that we use in English. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. So this might be helpful for you to think about when you're starting to craft your own questions. So I'll do one question um, that I was thinking about when I heard about Brandon's mom and the first time that she came to the United States. So this could be something that Brandon himself could ask her. So here's the question I thought of. The question reads, what did you first see when you got to the United States? So I use one of the starters here. What, what did you first see when you got to the United States? So asking her about her experience. So hopefully that gave a little bit of an example of what your interview questions could look like. Teachers, let's pause this video, give students some time to um, create those interview questions. And students, again, you can use the starters here on this purple post-it. Okay, welcome back. I hope you were able to craft some interesting interview questions between Brandon and his mother. Um, at this point, teachers, you can go ahead and facilitate the after the reading activity, which will be more interview questions, and then also your closing and connecting, and please remember to do the extend the learning activity. And we will see each other on day five.